feeling wet on my face, and I thought I was dreaming this stuff. And I could just hear some guy, I guess it was one of the ET guys, saying, you know, forget about forget about his uh, hand. You got to stop the bleeding in his head. And then I must have woke up. And they asked me all these questions, and I was just praying to God, like, from that point on, I just kept praying, kept praying, kept praying. And I had thought my son was in the car. At the time, he was two and a half, maybe three years old, and I thought he was in that car. So they went and they searched the car, and they didn't find him, and they, and they, and they said, no, there's no one else in the car. And so I said, all right. But I was pretty banged up. I was messed up. Wow. I didn't realize how messed up I was because I was giving them the answers they were looking for and I told them where I told them how to get a hold of my ex-wife and, and they called her and she came to the hospital and they had me covered over with a sheet and, um, and, they, and she came in and she was really calm and that was fine and then my mom came in and she was like hysterical beyond the word hysterical and that's, I guess, when I realized how bad off I was. But, um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't break any bones, but my head was peeled back. My hand was butchered. This right hand was all chopped meat, the guy said. And so, uh, and that was my first accident. And that same week, that's when, uh, some, there was some famous lady, some princess lady, she got decapitated in the same type of accident. Oh, wow, that's not going to say anything yet. So God was really good to me. You know, he he preserved my life in that instance. Uh, The second car accident I had was um, I was driving to work, and my car just went airborne. I was in an RX-7. It went airborne, and it wrapped around a tree, around a big old palm tree. So my car was literally like in the shape of a U. Oh, wow. My son had come to see me in the hospital. What happened was I punctured my lung, and I had a couple of bruises, but that was the worst of it was my lung being punctured. And God, again, he didn't let me die. You know, I probably should have died in the first one, but he didn't let me die. And so God has been real good to me my entire life. You know? and then there's been times where I've, <laughs> well, I don't even want to talk about that stuff because that stuff is not me. That stuff is gone. It's so far away. God has taken me away from it. And so. And staying in that time point where we'll be walking by God. You know, God's God's good. Yeah. You know, he God, loves us. God is so good. You know, why does He take some and not another? I don't know. But, you know, He, he just. God is God, and, and He doesn't answer to us. We answer to Him. And, uh, last year, um, I was, I've been training my body physically. I've been training my body in martial arts, and I've been training my body in, in uh, weightlifting. And I've been doing that for like the past two years. My body was, was very, I guess it was very buffed out. Wow. And then you went hot water? No. I was helping my son carry a couch into it to his house. And I said, Dad, you don't look so good. What's the matter? I said, nothing. I said, Dad, you're sweating. I said, I never seen you do that. He says, you're not, you don't have to do You're out of breath. What's going on? Didn't think anything of it, and I just thought I thought it was like a bronchitis. You know, I get sick with bronchitis because I've always had asthma. And so I, I went to a doctor. I went to the emergency room in Florida, and they hooked me up to the EKG machine. I guess it's just standard practices. And so this is after your accident. No, this, my accidents were way back in the eighties, in, in the early nineties. But last year, I was, like I said, I was training, I was bench pressing 250 pounds, and I was just training six hours a day, basically, every day of the week, six hours a day, every day of the week. Wow. And all of a sudden, man, I got 
got sick. And I thought it was bronchitis, so I went up to the emergency room and they said, you know, I need antibiotics because I, I can't breathe right. And so they hooked me up to an EKG machine. They come back in about 20 minutes later and they ask me, when did you have a heart attack? And I said, I've never had a heart attack. What? Yeah. Wow. And she said, well, that's not what the EKG machine says. And I said, well, then you need to recalibrate your EKG machine because I've never had a heart attack. And they told me, your heart's failing. And I said, nah, that's, that's, that's not right. Just give me antibiotics and wow. let me go home because I know what it is. So they did give me antibiotics and they gave me some prednisone to, to help loosen up the bronchial tubes. And I was taking them and like... Four days later would have been a Friday night. I took the last dose that day, Friday, and then Friday night, Monday, it's getting on Saturday early in the morning. I decided, um, I woke up in the middle of the night, or maybe one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, and I couldn't breathe. And I just, I couldn't believe what was going on. So I jumped in my car and I drove myself back to the emergency and said, look, 